I'll walk you through four solutions for Windows 11's error code 0XC00000E in this video. At first, completely switch off your system. Then, switch your system back on. C. Once your system is booting up, just press and hold the power button again to force shut down your system. D. Simply repeat this action for one, two more times more, and for the third time, let your computer boot up normally. Your system will go to the automatic repair mode automatically. To troubleshoot the issue, tap on the troubleshoot. Once the automatic repair screen appears, tap on the advanced option. After that, you have to tap on the advanced options. Among various options, tap on the command prompt to access the command prompt. Allow a moment for your system to boot the terminal. Just select your administrative account and click on Continue to finally get access to the terminal. Now, paste these three commands one by one and hit Enter. This will fix the master boot record. Bootrec slash fixmbr, bootrec slash fixboot, bootrec slash scanos. After this, you can rebuild the boot configuration directory on your system. Just execute this code to do so. Bootrec slash rebuild bcd. Once you have done this, exit the terminal and your system shall boot into the screen you have noticed before. Then tap on continue. At first, first, shut down your system. After shutting it down, press the power button once to power it on. When the manufacturer logo shows up, press and hold the delete key on your keyboard to access the BIOS settings. Note, you have to keep an eye for the exact key to access the system BIOS which can differ from one manufacturer to another. Usually, these are the keys most used. Now go to the Boot tab. Then, select the Configure Boot options using the arrow keys and hit Enter to access it. Then, go down to the Change Boot Order and press the Enter key to open it. Here, you will notice the list of bootable devices like HDD, SSD, CD-ROM drive, network, USB devices are present. Just Use the arrow key to select the HDD SSD drive that contains the Windows folder and move it to the top. Once you have done that, scroll down to select the Commit Changes and Exit option and hit Enter. Finally, press the F10 key to save this setting. Wait for your system to reboot normally. It will boot up according to the boot priority. First, press and hold the power button for 15 seconds to ensure that the system completely shuts down. Now, carefully remove Detach the system from the power source. After that, remove every external drive from your system, including external HDDs. There should not be any CD-DVD present in the disk drive. Once you have done all these, just attach the power cable to your system and switch it on. Now, press the power button on your machine to start it up. Boot your system into automatic repair mode. Once you are there, click on the advanced options. To troubleshoot the issue, tap on the troubleshoot. After that, you have to tap on the advanced options. Now, tap on startup repair to start the automatic repair process. Thanks for watching. If it helps, make sure to hit like and subscribe.